Hello everyone, I'm Dion from Dion Video Productions. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to export for both macOS and Windows from Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to be splitting this video into two parts. First, we're going to be looking at exporting to Mac, and the second, we'll be looking at exporting to Windows. I'll have chapters for each of these sections linked down below. So starting off, we have a project in my timeline. As you can see, uh, this here is a recent video of mine in which I looked at the Apple Wireless Magic Keyboard. And let's say this project is done and ready to be exported. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is make sure that nothing in particular uh, in your project is selected. Make sure everything is unselected as selecting a specific clip or element will only export that specific clip or element. So to make sure nothing is selected, simply click on one of the blank areas in your project. Let's say I currently have this clip selected just click here and it will automatically unselect everything so that can be any blank space whether that's uh, below or above your timeline make sure that nothing is selected for the entire project to export so once that done we're going to go over into the share menu now this is the button right here found in the top right hand corner and this will give you a varying list of options now your option list may look slightly different from mine but what you should have is this master file option and this is also the default setting so let's go ahead and click that so once you've selected that, this little window will appear and this will give us options to create to change the title, description, add creator tags or other tags if we like as well. But more importantly, let's go ahead and take a look at the export settings listed down below here. So in this case, it will be exporting as a 1080p file in 1920 by 1080 resolution and will also export in 30 frames per second, left and right audio and will also show you the length of the entire project. Now, this of course matches the specifications of the original project, which are listed over here in the top left. Again, 1080p at 30 FPS. And in this case, we're gonna be exporting as a .mov file type. And you'll notice that the file size is 766 megabytes for a four and a half minute video, that is not bad. Now going into settings is where we have further options to change the codec of the export as well. Now, first of all, under format, you're gonna to want to make sure that video and audio are both selected. And then under video codec, the first option we're gonna be looking at today is H.264. Now H.264 is a slightly compressed .mov file, which essentially keeps 95% of the video quality for less than 20% of the file size. And this is ideal for web uploads, whether it be to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, etc. So make sure that is selected among the list here of different export codecs. So just to quickly recap, overall exporting as a H.264 file if you're going to macOS and uploading to the web is absolutely ideal as this is slightly compressed, therefore allows for a much smaller file size while retaining much of the original quality. So once you're ready, just go ahead and select next and export to wherever you'd like. Now the second export method for macOS is ProRes 422. So we're gonna go back into the video codec option and select ProRes 422. Now, this is a slightly different video codec in the sense that this is a lossless export, which will therefore give you the best possible quality, but will result in a much larger file size, significantly larger than what we had before. However, this will give you a better quality export. So when would you want to use this? Well, personally, I use this for client work. When I'm delivering a product to a client, I want them to have the best quality export, and this is the codec I will typically use. Another opportunity to use the ProRes 422 codec is when I'm looking to do a high quality archive. This is a great way to store backups of all of your previous projects before removing them from Final Cut to, for example, clear up some storage space. So once again, the Apple ProRes 422 gives you a better quality file type. However, due to its much larger file size, I do not recommend uploading to the web for this as uploading to, for example, YouTube will automatically compress the video and the difference between an original Apple ProRes 422 file or that of an H.264 file will be very, very minimal and is not worth the file size or the upload times. So once you've selected the new codec, in this case ProRes 422, go ahead and select next and export. All right, just quickly before we move on to the Windows exports, if you guys wanna know how to format and export for an Instagram story, I have a separate tutorial made for that, which I'll leave links below as well. And next, let's take a look at exporting for Windows. Now, especially when I'm doing client work, I like to export in a format that I know can be opened and played on any Windows machine, meaning a file type that can be read by Windows Media Player as this comes pre-installed on all Windows computers. In this case, we're looking for a .mp4 file type. So we're gonna go back into the same share menu and instead we're gonna click on one of the Apple devices settings. So this will either be Apple devices 720, 1080 or 4K. Now in this case, since we're dealing with a 1080p project, let's go ahead and click on Apple devices 1080p. 
Next, we're gonna select settings. And then from Apple devices, we're gonna to change to computer. Now notice this will change the file type as well, which currently is a .m4v. And then if we click on computer, this is gonna to change to a .mp4. Now, much like the previously shown H.264 export, the mp4 file in this case will also be slightly compressed. However, it will retain much of the original quality for a much smaller file size. Now, furthermore, under video codec, we have two options, either for faster encode or video or better quality. Typically, I will click on better quality. This will not affect the file size. And the resolution, we can also make this smaller should you want to have a smaller video, say you want to email this or for a quicker upload or share or perhaps you're sharing a draft but if you want a full 1080 version that is possible too and again if we look at the project specifications they will still perfectly match that of the original project line and then we can go ahead and select next and export once again this is the export setting that i recommend for exporting to windows that said quicktime player can also be downloaded and installed on windows for free from apple's website so if you'd like to share the uncompressed prores 422 file it is possible however you have to make sure that you or the client or whoever you're sharing this to already has quicktime player installed other than that, the safest option is to go for the MP4 file as once again, this can be played on any Windows machine. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully this was of use to you. If it was, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Let me know if you have any questions and for more tutorials like this, be sure to check out my full Final Cut Pro playlist. Thank you for watching.